Hello? Uh, the question requires you to find the sum of the first n term for the series, right? Means they want you to find the sum of the following sequence. Uh, means you want to sum up everything here. Of course, if you want to sum up everything here, you must know there are how many terms, right? Because Sn, you okay? Uh, Sn. So the formula for Sn, okay, I were only using one formula, right? Uh, there is a two formula. I were only, only using one formula. Okay, 1 minus R, where R cannot be 1. Uh, this is a formula for Sn, right? Uh, formula for Sn. So you know that uh, another form is Rn minus 1 over R minus 1. But it's okay to just memorize one of the formula. So you can apply for this or this. Even though the R is less than 1 or more than 1, I'm still using this formula. So, okay, for this case, I have A equals 2, right? A equals to 2. And your R, uh, your common ratio here, you take 6 divided by 2 or you take 18 divided by 6. So you have 3, all right? Means you will keep multiplied by 3, right? You keep multiplied by 3. So I don't know until when it will reach 1, 4, 5, 8. So I need to find the n term, right? The, the, this is your Tn. In order to find how many terms here, I need to use the formula for Tn, all right? The formula for Tn is AR n minus 1, right? Uh, so, <coughs> I will uh, let Tn to be 1, 4, 5, 8. The formula is A R to the power of N minus 1, right? Equals to 1, 4, 5, 8. Can you see? Your A is 2 and your R is 3. So now I'm going to uh, divide. Divide 1, 4, 5, 8 by 2, right? By 2, I have 7, 2, 9, right? 7, 2, 9. I know that 7, 2, 9, you can convert become a base 3, right? I think it will be 3 to the power of 6. Uh, 3 to the power of 6 is 7, 2, 9, right? So because they have the same base, so I can directly compare the index, right? I can set n minus 1 to be... 6 of n to be 7. Oh, then you know that actually this is the t1, this is your t2, this is your t3, t4, t5, t6, this is your t7, right? Total you have 7 term, right? So now you can apply this formula because you already know the value of 7, right? This is n equals to 7. So I can apply s7 because from the first t1 until T7, so it's S7. So 7, it will be A. A is 2, uh, apply 2. 1 minus Rn, uh, 1 minus 3 to the power of 7, divided by 1 minus R, 1 minus 3. Uh, now this is a job for calculator, right? Uh, as long as you keen correctly, that will be your answer. So, 1 minus 3 to the power of 7 divided by negative 2 multiplied by 2. You have 2, 1, 8, 6. Means that if you total up this series up to the 7th term, you will get total of 2, 1, 8, 6. Alright? Uh, this is the, uh, the way you solve the question. Uh, you need to know how many terms, right? You need to know how many terms are there. So now, how about, how about this question, right? Uh, how about this question? So, <coughs> same thing happened. Okay? I just repeat one more time. So you want to find how, you want to find the Sn, the sum of the, uh, for this geometric sequence, you have to find the value of n, right? Uh, you have to know that this is the Tn. So what is the n here, right? So I just uh, write this to be n, okay? capital letter n, to avoid confusion between this, cap this n and this n, okay? Uh, so now the first term is 1, all right? Your first term is 1. And your common ratio of course here is 1 over 2, right? Uh, 1 over 2, because why? You keep multiply 1 over 2, 
multiply 1 over 2. 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2, you have 1 over 4. So it's 1 over 2. Or you can take 1 over 2 divided by 1. Alright? It's the same thing. So now, how many n here? Never mind. I'm going to let this to be my Tn. So my Tn, the formula is A R power of n minus 1. Right? I want to know this n is term. Which term? Right? So n uh, is equals to 1 over 2 to the power of n. Right? 1 over 2 to the power of n. So very simple. So you compare. So you can say 1 over 2 power of n minus 1. Multiply by 1, right? It's, it's equals to 1 over 2 power of n. This one you can rewrite as 1 over 2 power of n, right? It's the same thing. 1 power of n is 1. 2 power of n is 2 power of n, right? So after the base, the base already the same, I can compare the index. It means that the n minus 1 is equals to n, right? So n is equals to n plus 1. Uh, means that for this series, for this, uh, sorry, for this sequence, you have n plus 1 term. It means this is your tn plus 1, right? Uh, you have to remember this is your Tn plus 1. So, means this is your T1, T2, T3, T4. This is your Tn plus 1. So, how to find Sn plus 1? This one you find S7, right? So, now you're going to find for Sn plus 1. Uh, Sn plus 1. So, alright. Sn plus 1. The formula A is 1, right? 1. Uh, okay, sorry. The formula for Sn is A 1 minus Rn divided by 1 minus R, right? So, A is 1. 1 minus uh, Rn. Because since this is already an n plus 1, so the n you just replace by n plus 1, which is 1 over 2 power of n plus 1, alright? Uh, over with 1 minus 1 over 2, right? 1 minus 1 over 2. So I proceed here. Uh, okay. I'm going to be using All right. So now let's continue. Okay, let's continue with, with this. So let's say you have uh, Sn plus 1, right? Sn plus 1. So, uh, and you have 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1 divided by 1 minus half. 1 minus half is half, right? Uh, it's half. So you can simplify the index here. Okay, This is all the algebra work. 1 over 2. So if you bring up, you multiply by 2, you multiply by 2, it cancel out then you have 2 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1 all right if you're not very confident in uh, simplify this will be your solution right uh, this will be your sum of the sum of this series means there are n plus 1 term here all right n plus 1 term here so very simple so that's all for this uh, video.